Greetings, salutations, guys. Nivens here with your weekly rock windup. A lot going on on the spectrum. Let's jump right into it with uh, interesting news happening this week. Ryan McCombs leaving Drowning Pool. As uh, many of you guys know, McCombs was the third frontman for DP. First one being Dave Williams, who died. Um, the second one being Jason Gong Jones, who quit after Rockfest back in. I think it was 05, if I'm not mistaken. And McCombs, McCombs seemed like a perfect fit. They were doing well. They're already in studio working on a new album, but uh, from the sounds of it, he's going back to soil. So um, I guess if you want to be a lead singer of a rock band, Drowning Pool, looking for one. One of my favorite holidays happens in April. That's Record Store Day. And this surprising news came out this week that Feist and Mastodon going to cover each other's songs and put it out on a little uh, EP, a little uh, record EP that's come out for Record Store Day. I guess uh, they somehow ran into each other backstage somewhere at a place in Europe, and they were like, you know what, we should cover each other's music, and that's what's going to happen. Feist is going to soften up Macedon, and Macedon's going to provide a little bit of balls to Feist. Well, it looks like Metallica is going to take a chapter out of the Johnny Cash BB King playbook and perform in prison in Denmark the entire Black Album. Don't really know what tickets will cost to get into the show, or if you can even, if it'd be open to the public. But that's what they're doing. Well, it seems Rolling Stone founder Jan Weimer going to get into the 21st century and have an app available very soon for the iPad. It'll cost you nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. No word though on this. Uh, this will mean that Rolling Stone will actually start having some balls again and putting out articles that are worth a shit, and not just you know, social network, um, reality show star mumbo jumbo crap like the Kardashians or what is that what are their name Kardashians oh K Carday whoever the f those bitches are you know what I'm talking about 2012 Grammy nominees announced this week and Foo Fighters not only are they nominated for album of the year they also got five other categories and I will put the entire listing of all that's important with the Grammy nods over at uh, in the uh, blog on 989therock.com I'm Nivens thank you very much for tuning in to your weekly rock wind up have a great weekend peace Caduceans. Seriously, that's what it takes in today's climate. Be a Caducean, make a porno, and all of a sudden you can be a spokesmodel for hair care fake products. Wedding. Fake, fake wedding. What a bunch of shit. What a joke. Go away.